Labor Day weekend has passed. That means two giant events are colliding here in Washington this week. One is the Labor Day recess is over and Congress is going to be headed back. And out around the country, the midterm general election season is getting underway. Interesting question, how does one affect the other? How does the fact that we are in the midterm election, general election season, affect what Congress is going to do in the weeks of work that it's got left? I think both parties have slightly different imperatives there. Republicans are probably going to want to do a few things to get some issues off the table. For example, probably pass some kind of a short-term extension of funding for the Export-Import Bank so that their business allies who very much want that are pleased. Short-term, though, so that the populist movement in the party uh, doesn't have to accept that as the final solution to the export-import bank debate. Democrats are probably going to want to do some things like do something, even if symbolic, to stop the process of corporate inversions by which companies move their uh, headquarters overseas to avoid U.S. taxes. That fits into the kind of populist economic argument a lot of Democrats are going to make. I suspect Republicans are going to be in favor of a stopgap spending measure that extends government funding to December or beyond that a little bit maybe past the election because they don't want to get into a question of a shutting down the government. Uh, that hadn't worked for them very well politically in the past. Two wild cards in this deck. One is immigration policy. Will Republicans choose to react if President Obama does some things to ease immigration deportation uh, processes in the course of the fall, or they want to leave that alone uh, as an issue going into the elections? Secondly, for both parties, big wild card, do they want to weigh in on Syria, Iraq, and the fight against Islamic State, or simply talk about it, not vote on it, and leave that tough decision-making to President Obama.